and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Jund Dinos. That's right, we're running this deck back. Remember, we played this on Tier 1 Tuesday, and it felt awesome. We went 5-0 with the deck, and we had awesome hands the whole time, and we just smashed our opponents. It was uh, pretty crazy. So let's let's play it again. Let's see uh, you know, if the deck can continue to be for real. If we play five more matches, that's what we're going to be doing today. What really made it so strong last time is that we had Marauding Raptor or Otepic Hunt Master. We had one of these two cards every single game on turn two. Every single game. Just always had one of these two cards on turn two and made our creatures, spells, our, all of our dinos cost one less. And we were just off to the races and, and uh, curving out well after that. So we'll see if there's actually a game where we don't have one of those on turn two. Hopefully not. Hopefully we just keep on doing that. Um, the, the main change I made is I put two Vivian reads in the sideboard. I think this is a, a card that I really want access to against the removal heavy decks, you know, like your, um, Kai's Wrath Esper decks kind of thing. There was a theater forwards in the sideboard and I just don't like that card, uh, right now. Basically, I think that, uh, little Teferi and big Teferi, both of them, but the Teferis have made theater of horrors not a very good plan for your uh for your uh card to be uh, a grind card for your grind card to be hey what's up hawkeye it's it's not a very good plan to have that's what i'm trying to say there so instead we're going to have vivian reed that will go find us more dinosaurs and be really cool and do all the things that vivian does there, there's 24 lands in the deck and we have the commune with dinosaurs to help us at land drops so it's not too difficult to play the five mana card here. Um, okay. Uh, so there's a magic question. I, I tried to cast Vras's Contempt in re response to a God's Willing after I'd cast Walk the Plank and it put it on the stack. Wouldn't let you do it. The the only reason why you wouldn't be able to do that is if the God's Willing also re if the God's Willing resolved and they got the protection from Black bef and you did it still in response to the walk the plank but you should be able to do that just fine yeah there's no reason why that wouldn't be able to work okay um anyway let's let's go ahead and get some games of john dinosaurs so like i said before we're playing five matches over here in ranked on this rank up sunday that's what we do here on sundays here on the stream channel we do rank up Sundays, and we got three decks that we're ranking up with today. And then I got an Is It Wizards donation deck afterwards. I think this deck is a little too aggressive for Kiora. It's too fast. Uh, for the most part, for game ones. Like, Kiora could be, like, that could be, like, the sideboard card instead of Vivian uh, against removal heavy decks to play a Kiora to draw some cards. But uh, game one, you're just trying to smash here. Or we're going to need to draw an untap land. It's not untap land. No. Well, looks like we're probably going to be a little slow here now without the top land. All right, what are you doing? Hey, three man. Yeah, we do have we do have the shifting ceratopses. That's true. We do have those that would be awesome. We got to get that fourth land though. We're not doing a very good job of having four lands.
I guess I needed a mulligan, I guess. I guess if there's double root bound crack on the draw, that's a mulligan. All right, bringing good removal and Veil of Summers. I, I don't want the Sorcerer Speed removal where we have to have our creature in play. Collision Colossus isn't necessary here either. So this gets us down to, what, 63? Let's trim two Galtas. Because they're countering all my other stuff. The Galta is just going to sit in our hand, not, and we won't be able to cast it. And then either Domri or Drover here for the last one. I'm going to cut... Domery. I want the Drover because we have all these other black spells. It is going really good today. No need to try. Thanks for thanks for asking. We had a fun league with Rakdos Aggro. A lot of really close games and everything that we had just a little bit ago. And now Starting with Jun Dinosaurs. I guess I need to update this thing over here. We're playing Jun Dinosaurs now, so let's put the star down here. And we'll get our record going. I was wondering, like... No, probably not. Basically, like, should I, should I, like, delete the record from Rakdos Aggro with this video? So if you're watching this video, you don't have, like, the spoilers for the other one? But I don't think so. I think people like seeing the, the record from all the indications I've gotten. If this was a 7, I would certainly consider mulliganing it. Yeah, okay, yeah, y'all like seeing the records? Yeah, the thing is, if I mulligan, we're going down to five. You know, like, this is a six-card hand. <clears throat> and it's, it's, it's kind of tough to win on five cards. If this was seven, I would definitely be mulliganing. But... My deck's not helping me out drawing land, land, back to back. Where's the Shifting Ceratops? There's a Shifting Ceratops. Found one. They are the Sultai version, though, so they could they could easily have Cast Down. Or Noxious Grasp. I should keep that unclaimed territory in my hand. Make them think that I could have something else. That's great. We drew both of our basic lands against the Assassin's Trophy deck. That's great. Godzilla. Thanks for that resub there. You're doing great work. Thanks for the stream and uploads to YouTube. Well, you're welcome, Godzilla. Glad you're enjoying the channel and everything, and thanks for that support. So 
I guess I need to bring in Vivian in this matchup. This Vivian just dies to Noxious Grasp too, though. We got beat up there. Both games we did not have, we did not play one of our red two drops on turn two either game. And we got beat up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's magic. I mean, you're gonna have cards that, that are considered unfun cards. That's is what what some people like, other people don't like, and things like that. Like it's so that's that's just kind of magic. Uh, there's not really a time like where there's gonna be cards that aren't considered unfun. Um, this this time of year, every every year. Uh, people are looking forward to rotation and like, oh man, I, I can't wait for, you know, card X to rotate out. It'll, standard will be better. It just ha that's that's how that's like the mindset every single year. Can't wait for these unfun cards to rotate out, and that's the, you know, there's not really a time like where people are like, oh man, wish rotation wasn't happening. Standard's really cool. When you, there's only, you know, there's only so many cards in standard. And when you play Magic as much as we do, and play the game as much, like having fresh, brand new formats, is uh, always something that we look forward to. And rotation is always—it's always a breath of fresh air. And um, that's just kind of how it is. Don't love our chances here. Steamkin Frenzy is hard to beat with all lands. I will say this deck has not that we were playing here has not looked nearly as impressive as it did last time. Yeah, you can three man, you're good. Yeah, we just went from Wilderness Reclamation to Three Mana to Fairy to Field of the Dead. The last three sets, and yeah, and people are like, all right, well, hopefully next set. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be something that people get really annoyed about, though. I'm certainly in the camp that three mana Teferi would never have been printed if Wilderness Reclamation was, wasn't printed. I think Wilderness Reclamation was a, a mistake that was changed at the end of, you know, like before, like right before they released it. They didn't really test it in standard. I think it was just kind of printed for Commander. And they didn't realize how good that card was for standard and stuff. And then. And then they realize, well, we made this huge mistake, and now we have to print something to make up for it. And then uh, Teferi was printed. I certainly just... I wish they would have just banned Wilderness Reclamation at the time. Don't need to print Wilderness Reclamation... Or, sorry, don't need to print Teferi. Wilderness Reclamation was just an uncommon. It wasn't something they expected to take out, take over standard. Wish they would have just banned it.
<laughs> yeah, Standard's a lot more powerful right now than whenever Wild Growth Walker was taken over. Um, the, the last few sets, they've been very powerful. Which is good. Um, you know, there's a lot of a lot of good cards to play in Standard and everything. That's that's good. That's better than it's better when there's like you know only like one deck you can play because there's not enough good cards. It's, it's good to have a lot of good cards. I don't know if I should be attacking. I kind of feel like I should be attacking. That is. I don't like how Ceratops gets double blocked easily. With no value from us. I'll let the I'll let this get double blocked then we draw a card and Well, got punished for getting rid of the Riptar Raptor. This would have been a really good card to have Riptar Raptor for. Let's pump this power up here. Do a little bit of attacking over here. And suddenly, this doesn't look so bad for us. They had a really bad Frenzy turn. They must have just hit another Frenzy like on top that they couldn't cast or something. Must have been, you know, they have to have a four mana card in hand right now. Galta, Regisaur Alpha. Banning stuff is really, really tough. It's, it's really hard to ban cards. They don't want people to spend their because. If if you start if you're just banning stuff all the time, then people won't invest in your product because to like buy whatever deck that's really good because then they'll think well this deck is just going to get banned because it's really good. So then you just won't have people buy cards. So it there certainly needs to be a a really really high standard on banning cards. It has to be something pretty egregious to order a ban and. I don't expect there to be bannings for a long time. And there's a reason why we went 10 years, like close to 10 years between bannings, like eight years or something like that, between bannings and standard. But I thought Wilderness Reclamation was a really good time for a banning, because I think that was a design mistake. And it was just an uncommon, so it wasn't, it's not like it was worth like a ton of money or anything. And I thought that was a, a, a good opportunity, but um, I'm not one that thinks that like three mana Teferi should be banned or anything like that. Um, do you think fans could ever demand a ban? Wizards does listen. You know, like they, they listen to all the, the feedback they get. I really didn't look like we were going to get this game a little while ago. <laughs> we had enough dinosaurs there. This could be a really nice Colossus matchup, though, if they have just a bunch of creatures that we want to trample over. But I'm thinking just playing a whole bunch of Flame Sweeps. I don't know if I really w want and or need Cast Down. 
I kind of like what we have going on right here. I kind of like just playing this. Definitely want to keep, you know, tons of dinosaurs in and stuff. Stompers is good. Like, would I want my first cast down over the fourth flame sweep? The problem with flame sweep is chain whirler. Chain whirler is a card that can be a problem because chain whirler can first strike a dino and then burn spell finish off a dinosaur. And if they have two chain whirlers in play, it is hard to attack through two chain whirlers. So let's get let's get a cast down in here that does instead of a flame sweep because a chain whirler. I don't think I really want I guess I guess Brontodon's supposed to be in here for Frenzy, I guess. I don't even know if that's I don't think I really care that much about Frenzy though. I don't think I do. I think this deck is this is, you know, a very aggressive deck that I'm not trying I don't want you know, I'm not trying to get the game to go on really long. I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to blow a frenzy. I don't Basically I don't I think that we just go bigger than than Bronson. It's not necessary. I think the card that like maybe Bronson replace Ceratops. But Ceratops can do a lot of good stuff. It's hard to mulligan double ripjaw raptor, but we don't have kind of any. Hmm. So commune like grabs a land. So we have like turn two other land. No, we still just mulligan. All right, this is a lot better. So keeping marauding raptor gives us the best start we could we could have. Do we do this? Yeah. I haven't seen a good Teamer Spells deck with Wilderness Reclamation in a while. That used to be a popular deck before War of the Spark. But hasn't really been a thing since War of the Spark. Ever since the Little Teferi was printed. The Teamer Spells deck relied on Niv Mizzet as its main win condition. And, and not only does Wilderness Reclamation really get shut down by Teferi, but so does Niv Mizzet. It's not good against the Planeswalkers. Hey, what's up, Mad Cow? Okay. There you go. Went four out of five. <laughs> That's I'm really glad to hear that, Matt Cow. That was really cool. Thanks for thanks for the continued support, and I'm glad that the the deck's working out. Perfect. Which one would you favor between Teamer Elementals or Sultai Elementals with your rock field? I think. I think Teamer Elementals is a stronger deck myself out of those two. I think Yurok is kind of slow for the metagame. I like Yurok a lot. I like the card, and I like playing the card and everything like that, but I just think it's kind of slow for the metagame. Um... Attack first. So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I guess I gotta play this first. So 
So for crafting, so for crafting purposes, I would recommend the Teamer deck over Sultai. Yeah, I agree, Donvi. Yeah, sideboarding and opening hand choices are are. I think those are the t two of the hardest choices with Magic for sure, especially sideboarding. And yeah, op opening hands is tough too. Yeah, there's that's a those are two very good areas for discourse and improvement. Alright, I need to just activate the Ceratops twice. It doesn't matter, but just for quality of life of stopping like them asking me if I have a response for every single one of these cards. And I have to click OK to every single card. I need to just tap out so that doesn't happen. We're dead this game, but I, I expect games that we draw eight lands for us to lose. Eight lands and 13 cards. Expect to lose these games. Guess we're not, guess we're not that dead. My opponent was way too scared. They really did not need to block like this. Could have just killed me. All right, so four, eight, and then nine, ten, and then eleven, twelve. Like I'm at, I'm at eight, and they're at sixteen. I guess they're scared of Colossus and stuff like that. doesn't look so bad for us now. Savage Stomp's a good one. Stomp. <laughs> Green has a board wipe after all. So if I make this attack, I'm dead to a lot of stuff. You know, like they can sack Frenzy if they just have a couple burn spells. You know, like a, a Lava Runner and a burn spell. Could be a suicidal attack. But just attacking for five means I don't even have lethal again the next turn. So I give them like two turns to find just seven points of burn. Which is not... Which is not ideal either. I think the best way of us winning this is making them at putting them down to six with having the two creatures here. All right, they didn't blow up frenzy. That's a good sign for us. So they blew up frenzy. We were definitely dead. So 
So we are, you know, we're in just a really tough spot anyway. Hmm. Well, we draw a card. This would let their shock kill my thing. If their shock can still kill my thing anyway with this if I cast the flame sweep. If their shock kills my thing, their shock's not killing me. Yep, Chain Whirler's got first strike. Yeah, this draws us a card. Um, which I think we need to cast. There's a few things we could draw that would be good. That's not one of them. The shock's not killing me. Whoops. Meant to do that the other way. <laughs> Whoops. All right, bad sign, Frenzy destroyed. It's probably four damage, or no, it's not four damage. <laughs> well, we have a lot, of, a lot of draw steps to win this for us. Shifting Ceratops is among them. Regisaur Alpha. Land number 28 is not among them. What if, so what happens if I don't play Otepic Huntmaster? I play another cast down, a flame sweep, and like two Brontodons, or Brontodon Colossus. Like Colossus is awesome in this matchup. If you know we get to that point of attacking and all that kind of stuff. There's nothing in the deck that I really want. Or like that. I really want to take out for Brontodon. Huntmaster is like the one card that maybe maybe we don't play Huntmasters. Sure, Frenzy was great because I had eight lands like right away in, in the early early on the game. So we couldn't kill our opponent because all we had were lands. So that's why Frenzy was great.
You know, we like we mulliganed and just like flooded out really bad. We didn't get to do any. We weren't didn't have spells to play. So yeah, we couldn't kill them. So their frenzy was good. I think most games we're gonna have spells to play. We'll kill our opponent before our frenzy matters. That's the goal of our deck. So pretty good sign that our opponent used. <clears throat> I was definitely hoping for a land there where I could go Marauding Raptor plus Savage Stomp and turn it into a 3-4 because our opponent already used a Lava Coil. I was hoping for a land there. It's possible that maybe I should just be waiting that it shouldn't even be playing the Marauding Raptor. Okay, good sign, good sign. Wait, this is just going to kill my Marauding Raptor now. Right, because the Firebrand. I don't know. I am... Um... Hmm. So trade two for two there. Okay, do we draw land? Do we draw this land? You're killing me, deck. in a monastery full of firebrands? <laughs> Go get him, buddy. I don't mind that two for two trade though with the Marauding Raptor Savage Stomp. I think that was actually a good trade. I'm happy with that. Yeah, of course I'm dead. I like to think on my feet. Yeah, I, I would I would take my chances. I agree with you, Organ Chicken. I think that our deck's pretty highly favored here in this matchup. I would take my chances in this matchup. Over and over again. But sometimes like last time we had a just so much good variance with this deck. Sometimes this is gonna happen. I mean, do I need? I guess I need a mulligan more. I don't know mulligan the first time, or like you know that game two that we lost. Yeah, you know, mulligan there, and then we just draw all sorts of lands. This this game, I keep the two lander, and we don't draw a third land. Lands have not been helping us in these last couple of matches. The star is telling you what deck we are currently playing. We are currently playing Jun Dinosaurs. So there's a star next to it. Our mana has been so, so bad.
we didn't have the check land problem whatsoever until like this this league you know we've had that twice now we didn't have that like didn't see the check land problem at all though the last five like the other five matches we played um, but this this league you know we've had we've had two matches now where just having check lands cost us like two games sorry two games like where it cost us games and that is not it's not really acceptable it's not something you want at all Yeah, this this was a mana base I didn't put together, so I, I don't know I don't really know how many check lands I'm playing. To be honest, you know we started with on Tuesday whenever we pulled this list we played a just a pretty stock list list. I don't think getting rid of one of these other two creatures for just three or four damage is worth it. Our deck has really not liked us here. This has not been a good league. It's not a deck that's winning with eight lands again. Just like the same thing I said during during the mono red deck. We're not winning when we have eight lands and still not winning when we have eight lands. should have seen that coming. Yeah, you have your... Sorry, I'm late. You have your days where things are going good for you, and you have your days where things are going bad for you. But it's just game one. I have 
Just meditate and prepare. We got a sideboard for a reason. Yeah, they. Yep, they could have killed us by just bouncing the Othakaya and hitting us with that. Our total lands drawn has been a lot. It's been quite a bit. Cavalier Gales is like a, is a good one for them to have. That's that's one that's annoying to get around for sure. So much for me worrying about having five, you know, like wondering if a five mana card would be too much mana to be to put uh, in the deck for our sideboard. You know, I was like, it's is five mana going to be too expensive of a sideboard card when we're just having like, you know, eight plus lands all these games. Go Rotting Regisaur. Go, go, go. Trust me. You'll thank me later. I've got it. Where? Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Four drop Domery. I've got time. It's definitely an option instead of Vivian. Really like, you know, I just really like Vivian, and you know, but you have four four mana Domery is another option that that you could use for sure. I'm known for my excellent time. You need to take a time out. So we can put them down to uh, one. But if we if we put them down to one and then they then they just Kaya's Wrath, then I'm just really dead. They have a lot of life gain in their deck. So I don't really value putting them down to one super highly. Let's get these things just out of here. This is hardly my worst defeat. This would be a good time to find Vivian. Just be able to, like... I mean, well, obviously, Shifting Ceratops just wins it. So, I mean, I guess that's the card we really want to draw. Um, that means they have to block with Cavalier. Is this even... So, like, if I play Reggie, 
Cavalier trades with Marauding Raptor. They take eight, go down to two. All right, well, I guess that was the reason to play Registrar Alpha. Basically, I didn't, like, if they were going to, you know, Kaya's Wrath here, I wanted to be able to follow up with the with the Alpha from a Kaya's Wrath. So how this game has played out, they haven't had Wrath. And if I was more aggressive at attacking them, maybe we would have gotten it done. Good good chance we would have, at least. Obviously this thing's attacking. If they have instant speed removal and kill Reggie, then they just get to eat Marauding Raptor. So it looks like not playing the the real big mistake that I regret here is not playing that Regisaur Alpha earlier. Shifting Ceratops is of course the card we want to draw. Now Ceratops doesn't get through to Spark. Another nine lands, though. I just can't really draw nine lands. I have to just discard this to Rotting Registrar. Might as well just play it. I don't know, do we keep playing the deck? Usually play five matches, but I mean I didn't I didn't play I can't say that I played that perfectly. I didn't. The decisions that I made ended up costing me. Drawing nine lands though over and over and over again is getting to be such a beating. So there's only seven, there's only seven of these, um, these buddy lands. So there's not, there's not a ton of buddy lands. We've just been getting a little unlucky of like the, the two games that we didn't draw nine lands. We drew like two lands and they were all two or three lands and they're all buddy lands. Um, <laughs> I, I mean, I think it was just a really bad run. I don't, I don't think. I don't think saying, I don't think, like the statement dinosaurs are not competitive is not a correct statement. That this deck is certainly competitive. We just, this is just a, a really bad run of a very, very small sample of three matches. You know, last time we played it, we went 5 0 and smashed everybody. Does that mean the deck was amazing then and now unplayable? No. It, 
what's true is it's probably somewhere in the middle. That's that's probably where it's at. Um, but yeah, we had we had two games where you know with with all these games we've had two games like where we didn't have any you know like keep keeping two landers and we didn't hit land drops and we just had like rootbound crags as like our only lands. That was two of our losses, and then we had four games where we had nine plus lands. That's what small samples will do. Small samples will do. Anyway, so yeah. So that's uh that's Jund Dinos. Jund Dinosaurs. Uh do do we really need black in the deck? I think so. I've played a good amount of Gruel and with playing playing this deck with black with having Rotting Regisaur in the deck, it did feel like um it was a a good upgrade to it. The Rotting Regisaur is very powerful and we never, you know, had any time like where we had hunt master and play ever but if we in this time but if we would have had you know hunt master giving the register haste is quite nice as well um so well so rough rough time for john dinosaurs here um you know i'm uh, sir you know i can't say that i'm not lower on the deck from whenever we played it last time, but I think I had a too high of expectation for the deck. There's still going to be some uh, variants that we're going to have here. But today was just a rough one for it. All right. Uh, if you're watching the video on, on YouTube, um, hope you enjoyed this video. And if so, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. Thanks for watching John Dinosaurs, and I'll see you for the next video.